Yo, trainer! You had me counting for... counting the days on my fingers waiting for you to come. I heard from Volkner what you did in Sunny Shore. You managed to light a fire in that guy's heart again. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? You're facing a fire-type Pokemon user with me! Let Flynn see how your fi spirit burns! You are challenged by Elite Four Flint. A long time coming. He's gonna start off with High Hound Doom, with Early Bird for his ability, with the moves Flamethrower, Sludge Bomb, Dark Pulse, and Sunny Day. Dark Pulse isn't going to do much. Anubis is going to be immune to Sludge Bomb. And Flamethrower is pretty much the only thing that I'm worried about. I'm also somewhat worried about Sunny Day because of something that will come up later. In the meantime, let's go ahead and start off with a close combat. Thankfully, due to it being a part dark type, should be able to take it out quite fast. Now he's going to send out a Flareon. You'd be surprised that he has a Flareon on his team because Flareon is... Well, I talked about Flareon. It kind of sucks. I'm just thinking about what would be a good move. Actually, it'd be good to just keep Anubis out. Flareon has Flash Fire for its ability. With the moves Overheat, Giga Impact, Quick Attack, and Will-O-Wisp. Will-O-Wisp will just cause a burn for Anubis without doing any damage. The only thing that I'm worried about is overheat, but actually, no, I wouldn't worry about that because Flareon has terrible special attack. And it's more of a physical attacker, and the only physical moves that it has is Quick Attack and Giga Impact. Both moves that, both are normal type moves, which means that Anubis should be able to endure it just fine. So, um, let's try Dragon Pulse. Just because we haven't really used it. Yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about Overheat. Or maybe I should. I should have. But it lowers your special attack. Ah. Uh, Etty would also be really good. Let's try Bite. Okay, don't care if you burn me. Well, it will lower my physical attack. You know what? Just so I can trap you in. Be a smart idea to uh, <laughs> use a full restore. And you must recharge, which means I can go ahead and use another bite and get my attack lowered again. Did you flinch? No, you did not. Tell damage, you're gonna have to recharge afterward, which means that Flint would not be able to heal either. So I can do another bite, because Flint can't heal.
Infernape! Yes, he has a starter Pokemon of his own. Uh, who would be good? I know who would be good. It's a fighting type, so you might as well have Hans out. Infernape has Blaze for its ability, just like our own Infernape. Has the moves Flare Blitz, just like our own Infernape. Thunder Punch, Mock Punch, just like our own Infernape. And Earthquake. Thunder Punch is pretty much the only thing that's gonna be good against Hans here, but chances are Hans is going to outspeed it, and look, I have three moves that's going to be super effective against it. Not gonna use Sky Attack because that's gonna take two turns, so I'm gonna use Air Slash. And you use Flare Blitz, which means you're going to end up losing a bunch of HP. Okay, not too much HP. You're gonna lose a ton of HP with Air Slash, however. Was that a critical hit? No, it was not! Magmortar! That's his most powerful Pokemon! And actually, the one that I was worried most... The reason why I was worried about um, Houndoom using a sunny day... Why would I be worried about Sunny Day? Because this Magmortar has Solar Beam, which would, uh, which if you got Sunny Day off, Solar Beam would, wouldn't need to charge. It would just fire off, and he could just bam the heck out of it. Aside from Solar Beam, he also has Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, and Hyper Beam, holding onto a Citrus Berry and has Flame Body for its ability, so avoid using physical moves. Let's just use a Tri-Attack and... Let's hope that I can get a status condition on it. I know that I won't be able to freeze it because it's a Fire-type Pokemon. But if I can paralyze it or something else, or take it out in one turn due to a critical hit, that would also be nice. Thank you very much! Polly, you are awesome! His last Pokemon is Rapid Dash. Um, there's nothing that Rapid Dash has that I would need to switch out for, so... Polly, go ahead and finish it off. I can feel your determination. Your will is overpowering me. Rapid Dash has run away for his ability. Yeah, very helpful. Flare with the moves Flare Blitz, Solar Beam, Sunny Day, and Bounce. It might use Sol Sunny Day to... To allow it to spam Solar Beam without having to worry about the recharge. If you have a fighting type Pokemon out, it's gonna spam Bounce. Also have Flare Blitz in case all else fails. Let's do another try attack. Okay, you using Solar Beam without charging up with a Sunny Day. Okay. This situation this is hitting up. I'm blazing now. I cannot believe that you survived with just a little bit of HP. Well, you won't be able to heal because you're trapped in um, Sunny Day, so let's use a weak move. I like that animation, though. Polly should be just fine. You must have had only one HP left, and that was funny. I don't believe it! I lost! I di didn't take you for granted, but I didn't expect you to win. I never even considered it. I'm blown away by this! You and your Pokémon are hot stuff! Whew. Burn right down to cinders.